Hello, hello. Welcome to Maker Studio. I'm Cheryl and I create over on the Home of My Making Facebook page. So I wanted to come on this morning to show you a really, really cute project. And I'm so glad that like spring is right around the corner because this project is perfect for spring. So as you hop on, let us know where you're watching from. And don't forget, tag three friends and share this tutorial and the um, stencil that I'm using is going to be in the giveaway. So let me show you what that is. So I love, 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 love the alphabet stencils. And this one does so much, um, has so much detail in it. It's called Alphabet 5. So these um, alphabets are a little bit taller than three inches, but you get the whole alphabet A through Z in this pack. And um, if you look really close at these alphabets, it's a flower pattern that is the font. So there's so much detail. One of my favorite, favorite alphabet stencils. So don't forget, tag three friends and share this tutorial and you will be entered into the giveaway for this particular stencil. So let me show you what I'm going to work with today. I have gone to Hobby Lobby and picked up these kind of like chip board pennants. Now guess what? I got a steal on these because this whole pack of 12 pennants was only $1.24. <laughs> so yes, don't forget try to look at those clearance items. And um, so these are chipboard. The front is white and the back is cardboard. So I'm going to take a few of these out of here. They do have 12 in a pack. I think that's going to be a lot. So I'm going to use six of them. And what I'm going to do is, let me just turn these the right way, oops, and keep them, get rid of those, keep these over here. So what I'm going to do is these stencils come in, I think there's like three sheets in here. Let me just make sure. Because of all the alphabet, yes, there's three different sheets in here of the alphabets. So what you would want to do is, these are cut lines here. If you're new to a Maker Studio stencils, these are a tri-mesh adhesive stencils. So there is an adhesion on the back of here. But for some stencils like this that you don't use the whole sheet in its entirety for the uh, graphic, there's these cut lines in here. And what you would do is cut along those lines and then you would get each alphabet. So I'm going to cut out the ones that I'm going to use and put them to the side. So keep these on the backing when until you're using them and always store them back in the sleeve. So I went ahead and already cut some out. And again, these are reusable. So I have used these before. So I'm going to cut out or I have cut out some and I'm going to be applying them to these chips board. But the first thing I'm going to do, I love creating custom colors. So I am going to be using gel art ink today and I'm going to be using three separate colors, but I'm going to be creating my own custom color. I'm going to create two different colors. So one of them that I'm going to use is bless his heart. Well, I declare and hush your mouth. So that's a red, a white and a blue. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little red down and I'm going to put a little red there. Then I'm going to take some white, which is the well I declare. So one of my favorite things, if I don't find the specific color that I want in our products, I mix my own. Now, when you mix your color, always be sure to mix enough so that you can finish your project. You can also keep a diary of the um, ratios that you do so that if you had to go back and make more, you would be able to do that by your ratio. So let me just put some more. So red and white makes pink. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep adding the white until I get it to the color that I want it. So I just have a little popsicle stick. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's what I am 
using to stir it. So I think I got a color that I liked. Now that was mixing the Bless His Heart and the white Well I Declare chalk art. So I have a little Bless His Heart over here. I'm going to add some Hush Your Mouth. So red and blue makes purple. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of blue at a time <coughs> so that I can get the purple. And if I have to add any white to get it to the U that I want, I'll do that at the end. So this is my fun part of a project is to mix a custom color. <coughs> Again, thank you allergies. Again, if you want to write down your ratios, your parts that you use, you can. But as you can see, it's turning purple. Now it's turning a dark purple. I am going to take a little spreader because that will get to the uh, bottom of the plate to get it moved over here. So that looks really dark, right? So it's a dark purple, which is okay, but I'm really going for more of a spring color. So I'm gonna add some white. So this is just something that I like to do is to mix custom colors for projects. And um, we have a lot of colors in the gel art ink. But since I'm working on a spring themed project, there's a certain color that I want to get to. Okay, so let me, I'm going to add a little bit more white to this to get it a little lighter purple. More like a lavender color. So this is really the fun part for me, is just getting the colors mixed. And all I did was for the purple, I missed the mix the Bless His Heart Gel Art ink, and the which is the red, and then the blue, which is the Hush Your Mouth. And then I added a little white to get to the color U that I wanted in the purple. So if you look now, you could see that that turned a yummy, yummy purple. So I love doing that. Let me clean my hands up. And I think I achieved the two colors that I wanted to achieve. So again, Bless His Heart, which is the red gel art ink. Well, I declare is the white and Hush Your Mouth is the navy. So I took those three to make these two custom colors. Now what I'm gonna do is put my little chipboards out. Now again, you can do this on anything. I just happened to get these pennants at Hobby Lobby on a steel, literally a steel, because they were under $2 for 12 of them. And I'm gonna take my letters that I had cut out from the alphabet stencil, and I'm going to put them on each one of these boards. So you want to, with a mesh stencil, just make sure that it is flush to the surface. Save your backings because after these are all washed, you're going to want to get them back onto the backing and you would store them, put back on here and then into that sleeve. And that's really the care for them. So I did cut out a few different letters and it's going to be the word spring. Now I love, love, love these font on this particular alphabet stencil because there's a lot of detail in it. It's actually some vining and some flowers that are made to create the letter shape. So I get asked all the time, what is, what stencils should I buy? And I always, almost all the time say an alphabet stencil. 
we have a few different packs of alphabet stencils, so there's a lot to choose from. So here's what I'm gonna do. I do have a spreader. Now they come this big, we do have squeegees, but for this, I'm gonna use a spreader, but I'm going to cut it into a couple of different um, lengths and widths. I'm not gonna use all of them, but I like to have more control with this type of spreader. So I'm going to just put a little bit of my purple custom mixed color on my spreader, and I'm going to just push it through the stencil. And I'm gonna skip over each letter and do it in the purple custom color that I mixed. Just a little bit goes a long way. Push it through, you could almost hear the sound of it going through. I am being mindful not to get it onto the chipboard banner and just push it through the stencil. I am going to remove all three of these and I do have a water bath next to me. I like to work with a water bath when I'm on a live because it gives me uh, time to uh, before I need to wash my stencils. Now if you're doing this go wash them immediately. You don't want to get any of that product that's left in there to stay in there because it will impede the next time you go to use the stencil. So I'm just going to remove these. I put them in the water bath so that it doesn't dry while I'm on a live. Again, if you're just hopping on, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial down in the uh, comment section and you will be in the giveaway for this particular stencil pack. I'm going to take another little, let me see, a bigger one, another little sp spreader that I had cut. I'm going to use my pink. Again, a little bit goes a long way, and I'm just going to then do the opposite letters in the pink. Simple and easy, just push them through to the chipboard. You could see that the stencil is changing color, so I know that the product is going through. Now, I'm just gonna remove these and put these in my water bath also. So I'll lift it up and I will show you the detail in these stencils. It's fabulous. Again, it's a little, the font is little flowers and a um, vine effect. So again, this was a simple and easy project. The stencil is giving me all the detail. So you could see that font in there, right? It's little flowers and little vines to make the letter. I love, love, love this alphabet pack. So let me just move this. And I am going to hit this with a heat gun because I want to put a string through here and I don't want to smear my gel or ink. I could let it dry, but because I want to just take a string and go through here to hang it, I do want them to get dry so I don't smear it. Now, what I was thinking is I could either take some purple cording and use that or some baker's twine, but I think what I'm gonna use is just some regular twine in this particular project. And that will let me connect them all together. So I'm gonna cut off some twine and then I'm going to take each one of these letters and connect them together. And remember, I got this board or these boards, these little pennant boards at Hobby Lobby for under $2. And I can make my own spring sign with the gel art ink that I made a custom color, a couple of custom colors using three different color gel art inks and then the alphabet stencil. And if you're just hopping on, I am Cheryl and I create over on the Home of My Making page. You are on the Maker Studio Facebook page right now. All the links for all of these products are going to be available up in the description of this video up there. So your alphabet stencil and your gel art inks are all going to be 
linked up there so that you can check out the products. Again, this particular font of this alphabet, just it screams spring to me, and it makes such a great pattern for the alphabet. So I'm just going ahead and I'm just stringing along, stringing along. You could add beads in between if you would like. You could add strips of, you know, a spring fabric in between. But I just wanted to show you the stencil and how the font looks fabulous when you pair it with the gel art ink. And it gives you the detail of the flower and the vine pattern. Just a couple of more and then I could turn it around and show you. And like I said, these letters are like about three inches tall. So you could use and make any wording. I could have put the word Easter on here. I could do it for every holiday, um, make a banner with a different word. But by using the um, purple custom color and the pink custom color, it definitely is a spring themed project. And I've got a couple more to do. So I'm just taking jute and going through the holes up and down. Again, you could use any kind of cording you wanted to. Let me just cut that end off. It's getting a little raggy. And it was fun creating the custom colors. Very fun. That's one thing I love to do if the color isn't exactly what I want. You know, you go back to the color wheel and you know purple is made by mixing blue and red, and then the pink was red and white. And if you needed to just make it a little lighter, you just add more white. That's what I did with the purple. So it's a really, really simple way to get your own custom colors going. Especially if you're trying to match something. But in this case, I just wanted it to be a Easter look or a spring look with those spring colors. Okay, so I think I did it. I think I did it. Let me turn it around and I'll show you what I made. And then you could see the font really well. So let me turn it around. So it's a simple, simple banner, right? It says spring, but if you look, Look at that font in that stencil. So this will look great hanging on a mirror or even a fireplace. Again, I did get these chipboard pennants at Hobby Lobby and the number five alphabet is from a maker's studio and all the details are up in the description section with the links to all the products that I used. So I hope this inspired you to go and check out that Alphabet 5 stencil. It's so spring-like and delicate, the font with the little flowers and the little vines that you can create so many projects. So don't forget, again, tag three friends and share this tutorial. And I hope I inspired you to go out and create something fun. So thank you guys for watching.